In this video, I discuss filter location in a hydraulic system. So there are a various four type of the location possible for the filter in a hydraulic system. First one at the at the suction side, second one is the at pressure side, third one is at the return side, and fourth one is the offline filters. Offline means the filters are not provided in a hydraulic systems, but separate filtration process are provided okay so in a offline filtration process different four cases are possible so i explain all these thing in this detail so filter location in a hydraulic system following are the different matters of placing the filter so first matter is the inlet filter or a strainers so inlet filter means at the inlet to the hydraulic system okay filter are provided so what is the inlet of the hydraulic system it is the suction pipe of the pump okay here you see this is the oil reservoirs this is the pump okay so at this inlet of the pump here we provide the filter so this is the symbol of the filter okay that is a square it is diamond square and inside that dash line is provided and this is the suction pipe so this suction pipe this is the filter pump and at the outlet of the pump it is supplied it to the hydraulic systems so first location is the inlet filter or a strainers so strainer is generally provided at the bottom part of the suction pipe that's why here also the strainer is written so what is the functions of the inlet filters so first function is to protect the pump from the various impurities suppose these impurities is supplied to the pump then the pump is wear out quickly and we need to replace the pump here the filter is placed at inlet of the suction pipe of the pump that we already discussed and you also saw in this image the filter is provided at the inlet of the suction pipe hence the solid impurities are trapped at the beginning itself and the pump and the system component are protected from the dust and the solid impurities so what amount of the solid impurities present in the oils are removed at the inlet of the systems okay that means the pump and system component are protected from the dust and the various solid impurities second one is the pressure line filters what is the pressure line filters you know that in a reservoir that is atmosphere pressure so pressure line filter means the filter are provided at the outlet side of the pump okay at the inlet side the filter is not provided but filter is provided at the outlet side of the pump because at the outlet side the pressure is higher so here you see the common image oil reservoir this is the suction pipe pump pump is run by using the motor and this outlet of the pump is connected with this pressure gauge relief valves so we provide the filter at on the pressure side okay so here the pressure is higher that's why it is called as the pressure line filters protect the system component means main function of the pressure line filter is to protect the system component here the filter is placed at the outlet of the pump okay but the pressure line filter is not protect to the pump so impurities are supplied to the pump so that is the chances the pump is damaged and we need to replace the pump after some intervals of times and this orange line is the return line okay hence the solid impurities are trapped and removed from the working fluids coming out at the pump okay so filter is put at the pressure side means at the outlet of the pump so impurities are by default removed at the outlet of the pump hence the system component are the protected from the dust and solid impurities so another component that is connected with the outlet of the pump are the free from the various types of the dust and the solid impurities now before moving ahead i request to like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to the oil hydraulics and pneumatics and another subject of the mechanical engineering for other subject video i request to visit the playlist and for ohp the various link is provides in a description as well as in a car card means on a top right of your mobiles or a laptop you see the i symbols it is called as the car from the car you also watch the various videos next one is the return line okay. return line means the oil is supplied from the pump it is going in the directional control valve actuators and when the oil is coming return to the actuators then come in the directional control valve then after the filter is provided it is called as the return line filters so filter keep the contamination away from the reservoirs so in a suction line what happen 
the contamination are added in the reservoir in a first case okay so this contamination is possible to make the acidic oil okay because the contaminations are come into the reservoirs but the return line filter are based because the when at the outlet of the system we put the filter so what amount of the contamination present is removed at the outlet so they are not supplied to reservoirs they are not supplied to reservoir then means they are not go to the pump and another components so i think it is the best to use the return line filter in any systems so here you see this is the oil reservoir pump pressure gauge this outlet of the pump is connected with directional control valve and actuators from the actuators the oil is return then here again it come in a directional control valve then in directional control valve that is a t pot is there from the t pot this oil is supplied to the tank okay so in this return lines we put the filter here okay so here you see this symbol of filters and then the oil is supplied to the oil reservoirs here the filter is placed at the outlet of the system okay so inlet of the pump it is the inlet that we study already so what is the outlet of the system outlet of the system is the return line okay so it is put at on the outlet of the system which is the return line of the return line to the reservoirs hence the solid impurities are trapped and removed from the working fluids and entering the reservoirs hence the working fluid in the reservoir is free from contamination now fourth one is the offline filters or a separate independent filtration circuits means no filter in no filter is provide in a hydraulic systems but it is separately provide means separate independent filtration circuit is provided so we can use separate independent line containing a pump and the filters okay so here you see this image here it is the reservoir of the hydraulic systems it is the drum this is the separate pump is provided this is the filters and the here four valve you see it is a b c d okay so we here in this case that is a different four possible cases is there okay so we can discuss this four case in the detail so we watch the video up to the end which is operated after the scheduled time periods of operations of the system to remove the contamination and to clean the fluids means filter is not provided in hydraulic systems okay so after 2 month or 6 month that is a scheduled time is given for a particular system okay ka after use of this much of the time or after use of this month we need to do the filtration process okay by using the offline filters for that this type of the system is used now in this case that is a four possible cases there now the function required first one is to clean the working fluid in a reservoirs okay so out of this four valve at a time two valve is open and the two valve is closed okay so we study in this detail so here we need to the clean the working fluid in the reservoir that is of the hydraulic system okay so we need to take the oil from the reservoir so by default we need to open the valve okay so from the valve oil from the reservoir is supplied to the pump so we need to supply the oil to the pump so we need to close this c valve if we open the c valve then the oil is go to the drum okay so we close this c valve here you see that is a c is close a is open then after from the pump oil is supplied to the filters in a filter the various contamination are removed then oil have a two option either go to the b side and either go to the d side okay but we need to again supply the oil back to the reservoirs okay so this b valve is open and d valve is close here you see the b is open and d is close and oil is again supplied to the reservoirs now for the second case to clean the working fluids in a barrel or a drums so here you see this is the drum is there why this drum is provided the from the drum we have also option to the supply at the oil in the reservoirs okay that is the third case you see that is a to charge or work, uh, charge or fill the working fluid to the reservoirs okay so in a leakage in a hydraulic system that is possibility is that the oil in the reservoir is reduced so we need to add the new oils so this oil is added by using the drum okay so first we understand the second case to clean and working the fluid in a barrel or drums so we need to remove the contamination from the drum then what we need to open the valve c so here you see valve c is open and we again need to supply the oil back to the drum okay that means we need to open the d valve okay so a and b is close so inlet is taken from this suction pipe it is supplied to c from the c we need to supply to the pump so we need to close the a valve so here you see a valve is close then it's come in the filter so at the outlet of the filter it have two option either go to the b and either go to the d okay 
but we back supplied it to the drum so we need to open the d valve and the b valve is closed so from the d valve oil is again go to the drum third case to charge charge means fill the working fluid into reservoirs okay so sometime the oil is leakage in hydraulic system and we need to add the oil in a reservoirs okay so how the oil is added to the reservoir or the how the oil is charged so we need to supply the oil to the reservoir from taking the oil from the drum okay so we need to open the valve c okay so we have also option the oil is directly go from c to a and into reservoirs okay but they are not remove the contamination so we need to close the valve a. so here you see the valve c is open and the valve a is closed so oil taken from the drum is come in a c pot then it is go to the pump then it is enter into the filters so at the end of the filter it have two option that is either go to the b and go to the d but we need to supply the oil to the reservoirs so we need to open the valve b here you see this is mentioned valve b is open and valve d is closed here c is written but it is d is there okay in this closed condition a and c but it is a and d so d is closed b is open so oil is filled to the reservoirs four case to drain out the reservoirs drain out the reservoir means to empty the reservoir okay so in third case what we study we charge the means we fill the reservoirs in a fourth case we empty the reservoirs so how we make the empty the reservoirs so from the a valve oil is taken from the reservoirs then it is supplied it to the pump here it is also option that the we supply direct a to c but it is in the upper direction pipe so it is not supply we need to go through the pump so this c valve is closed here you see in a third column the valve c is closed a is open then it is reached to the filter okay so after filter it have two option either go to the b or either go to the d okay but we need to empty drain out means empty the reservoirs so if you open the b valve then oil is again go to the reservoirs okay but what we need we need to empty then we need to close the valve b so here you see there is a valve sorry valve b is closed okay then oil is enter in a d valve here you see that a and d is open so here a is open d is open so oil from the valve d it is supplied it to the drum means the oil present in the reservoirs is added to the drum and the reservoir is empty so i hope you can understand all the locations of the filter easily so thank you for watching this video if you learned and like the video subscribe the channels and don't forget to share with your friend